as Kenya works round the clock to grow its economy, which has been projected to hit the 5.6 growth rate this year, investors from the Middle East are weighing their options. A lot of our companies realizing in order for me to invest, in order for me to come closer to my customer, I need to be closer to him. So they are looking at East Af same thing with West Africa, they are looking at East Africa and what is the destination that I can set up my business in. If you look at the re region of East Africa, uh, Kenya is the most advanced. The move is welcome news to representatives of the business community. We are also looking at Kenyan businesses partnering and joint venturing with uh, companies from the United Arab Emirates to set up uh, trading um, establishments, to set up manufacturing concerns mm. in Kenya that will serve the wider Eastern African uh, region. There's a possibility for Kenyan businesses mm to joint venture with uh, Emirati companies to set up the same um, sort of business model to serve this entire region. A number of Kenyans are already doing business in the UAE, mainly in areas of motor vehicle purchases, jewelry, airline services to logistics and supplies management. Dubai is one of the key trade partners that Kenya has strong links with, and the setting up of more companies will increase Kenya's profile globally and locally. Kenya has opportunities in all these areas. Name energy from, uh, you know, alternative energy from wind, solar, all that, sprint of opportunities. Uh, go to ICT, Kansas City, there are a lot of uh, uh, opportunities right now in different uh, subsectors. So I think there are many, many areas that actually uh, Kenya can be able to partner with the uh, UAE at the moment. Influx of multinationals in Africa, and to be precise, in Kenya, has been touted as a good thing for the economy. But a bit of safeguard needs to be put in order to avoid situations of repatriation of profits back to their countries. Abiyagina, NTV, Nairobi.